Silly Little Beaver children's books read aloud. Oh, <laughs> hi there. I hope you love the book. Please leave a comment with your thoughts. All right, let's go. The Adventures of the Silly Little Beaver Lost Friend Written by Luke Deline Illustrated by Lene Deline One morning, just after the sun rose, the silly little beaver awoke to a cold draft on his toes. Where in the world is that cold air from? The silly little beaver said, puzzled as he slowly got out of his warm bed. When he got to the window, he could finally see snow on the ground. He began to smile with glee. The silly little beaver loved playing in the snow. He was thrilled with the scene he saw down below. His excitement was cut short by a really loud sound coming from somewhere down on the ground. He ran out the door as fast as he could thinking someone was hurt and that wasn't good. He didn't get far when he saw his friend Larissa the Bull. She was frantically looking at the ground yelling Pull! The silly little beaver shouted, What's going on over there? Larissa replied, There's snow on the ground, where yesterday it was bare. I didn't have a chance to cover my friend last night. His name is Dwayne the Daffodil, and now he's plain out of sight. Hearing this, the silly little beaver became concerned. He quickly decided to use the rescue skills he'd learned. Grabbing a broom, shovel, gloves, and a hat, he yelled to Larissa, Let me help you with that! The two friends carefully moved away snow, careful not to touch Dwayne's delicate petals below. Finally, after an hour or three, a tiny leaf and a single petal they were able to see. Larissa tenderly uncovered her friend Dwayne, trying desperately not to cause too much strain. The silly little beaver moved him from the ground to a pot, at which point Larissa said, Thank you a lot. I've been running around in a daze for most of the morning, sick to my stomach about the snow that fell without warning. Now Dwayne is safe in his pot for the winter months ahead, since I will place him comfortably next to my bed. I'm so happy I could help, replied the silly little beaver with a smile. I will leave you two alone to chat for a while. Larissa was thrilled with the help that her good friend Beaver gave. She didn't ask, he just offered and was extremely brave. She realized that's just what true friends do, anything they can to help each other through. The End I just love learning new lessons. What did you think? Please comment. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for going on that adventure with me. Please be sure to comment with your thoughts and subscribe to the channel. Enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs> I'm going to find something to eat now. Bye-bye. <laughs>